atmosphere of celebration here at Gandhi Bhavan, the headquarters of the Congress Party here in Hyderabad. And I have with me Deepa Das Munshi. So many people from the BRS now trying to join your party. Are you strengthening it in the Hyderabad region specifically? Uh, it's not just the Hyderabad region. Today, the, basically, they have come from the districts also and the adjacent to Hyderabad. Uh, not only from BRS, also BJP. Some people have come and joined us today. So today, yesterday also a huge crowd was there. People are joining from the OBC, Mudiraj community, the fishermen community, they have joined. Today there are mostly corporators joining and some leaders, some ex-MLA also we have seen just now from BRS who have joined. So tomorrow also we are having a lot of corporators joining. So uh, now I think um, it is not strengthening the Congress. Also people have uh, now getting faith towards, trust towards Congress and coming back. Uh, so it is a good sign for Congress party. So many prominent names like you mentioned, there is uh, uh, there are former mayors who have come in, at least a couple of former mayors, the couples have come in, uh, there's a relative of a former minister who has come in, who is also the chairperson of this. Uh, they seem to be keeping their feet in multiple boats though, in the same family. Uh, uh, no, actually, uh, you know, he, he's, he was a former minister, not a minister now. Uh, his wife, uh, for a long time, looking for Congress, joining for Congress. So today she has joined. We are happy that his, his entire family has joined, not, his, uh, not only his wife, but his uh, son as well. And we welcome because uh, uh, they are working, uh, they have worked in last uh, uh, period of time. He was earlier in Congress, left Congress and gone there. I think uh, that Ghar Vapsi has been started. So first the family is coming, maybe he's, we are looking that he should also come and join. Okay, today the government also passed the uh, bill for an OBC census. That's something that your party has nationally been speaking about. Um, what kind of an effect is it going to have and what is the process that you're thinking of for the census to be carried out and is there a deadline that you've set for it as well? Uh, there is no deadline so far because uh, just today it, it was just uh, addressed by uh, our great leader, beloved leader Rahul Gandhi ji. Uh, and uh, when it was decided in the CWC meeting, it was uh, always it was unanimously accepted in the CWC meeting for this caste census thing uh, on the OBCs. Here in Telangana, OBC percentage of OBC are about 56%. So it's a huge number and there are many, many groups in that, many communities coming in that. So that caste census thing will help in, in future, in the entire country. But as because uh, Congress is, is thinking of this caste census in OBC, uh, obviously it is a, it is a dream of uh, Rahul Gandhi and it is basically brought uh, by Congress party and after this government has come in Telangana, it was our foremost and first and foremost uh, thinking that we should bring this caste census first in Telangana so that in our manifesto also we can write that we have started this. And today in the, in the legislation it has come and it was been accepted and the process will, uh, the work will start very soon, as soon as possible we can start it, we will work it out. And um, obviously uh, we are looking that the entire country that caste census should be, uh, should be done. Uh, if we come into power. With so many leaders making the jump from the BRS especially into the Congress, are you seeing the parliament elections as a fight actually between the Congress and the BJP here? No, it is a jumping. Uh, uh, the MLAs are, are still there as MLA. Whoever is coming, basically they are corporators because uh, uh, the second leadership, the third leadership, the JPTC, the chairman, the members, they are all coming. So I think they are joining because uh, they also see that, you know, uh, Congress should get more uh, power here in the state as well as in the center. So it is not, I will not say that the BJP is the main opposition here. It is still a triangular fight. BRS is there, BJP is there, we are here and obviously in Hyderabad, GM, uh, MIM is there. So it is a, basically a triangular fight. I will not say that BJP is the biggest threat here. But the, obviously the, the way BRS people are coming, it seems to be BRS will be finished very soon in, in Telangana. Just one other question. Um, 
Many MLAs from the BRS had also approached you. Is there a reluctance on the part of the Congress party to induct them at this stage ahead of parliament elections? Because the uh, feelers seem to be that many of them would actually want to jump to your party. Not jump. Not jump. That word I, I, I will not accept. They are, uh, they are looking to uh, actually come to our party, uh, willing to come to our party. But uh, obviously we are, uh, we know that there is a provision of two-thirds. So we are looking to see that how many numbers uh, they are bringing. So if they are bringing a good number, then we will definitely, we are looking, just yes, looking and watching and the also the provision law. of the anti-defection. At the same time, uh, our main main issue was, was corruption. So obviously, uh, in our party, there are a lot of people, we are saying that the corrupt people who, with whom we have fought in the last election, uh, we should be restricted on their names. So that is also another point. In the assembly elections that just happened, it was largely outside of Hyderabad that you got your vote and your seats. What are you doing to strengthen Hyderabad? That is our uh, strategy. I will not uh, discuss it with the media. So, no. Thank you so much and best wishes. So the Congress party uh, here inducting many people from both the Congress, from both the uh, BRS as well as the BJP and hoping that they will be able to strengthen themselves uh, in the city region as well. In Hyderabad with camera person Nagaraju, Umar Sudhir, NDTV.